Okay, so once you've downloaded your IG cover, and once you upload it to your Instagram, this is what it will look like. And again, you can either keep the elements here, the graphic, or you can delete it. But as you can see, it's already there. And then again, you have the instructions on how to create a highlight. And then you can always just update it as many times as you'd like. So now I'm gonna go back to this and minimize. So here at the bottom, you can zoom or minimize. So I'm just trying to go through everything quickly because sometimes this freezes but you can mess around and see what you like more or best and then also i'll show you in just a moment you can duplicate one template and then keep working off of that okay here we go so here's the icons okay this is what i want to show you so let's say you like this or any page you can duplicate by Selecting it, for example, let's say you want to change all the colors of the entire template instead of going individually. It just kind of depends because sometimes I, I do select to change all the colors, but it'll change everything. So if you don't want to do that, then um, that's when you would have an entirely different copy. So you can mess around or you can just test it and see. Maybe you'll like it. So for example, let's see, uh, I'm going to change the colors here. So I'm going to right click. Okay, so it's not, maybe it's gonna do it here. So right click, okay, apply colors here at the bottom. So I just right click the graphic. And then let's see if it's gonna pull colors. If not, we'll have to do it over here in the uh, design. Oh, there we go. So it starts pulling colors from, oh, okay, there we go. It's just a little slow. So as you can see, it starts changing everything, or you can go through design and go on here on the left and go to styles. You can also add photos. So everything again is here on the left. You can upload your own pictures, or you can pull pictures from the uh, Canva webs uh, website platform. So then it starts pulling different colors and here it shows you the different palettes. I'm gonna go back. So you see you have different options. And let's say we like this one. Let me see if it changed everything else. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So this way it'll help you from having to go in and do everything individually. And then you would do the same thing. So you can, I'm gonna actually lock this. Well, before I do that, Let's say we want this palette. So I selected it. Let's see which color is going to pull. Um, let me try. That one's kind of funky. But as you can see, it works. Do a different palette. And then it'll pull colors from that palette also. There we go. Well, that's pretty cool. So this will just go with uh, your brand colors. So let's see, let's say, so okay, so once you have all of these, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna select the background. That's just a background. I'm gonna lock it just so that I can drag. And that way it selects the item that I want and let's say I want to keep this color base or palette but I want to try and see if it's gonna um, if I'm gonna like the different color better so instead of recreating an entire one I'll just copy and paste here And then I'll just delete that. Okay, so I went ahead and copied and pasted. And so now I just stretched it out, as you can see. And 
let's say I want to change this color, right? Let's say I just want to change the background color. So I'm going to select this, position it towards the back. I think I already showed you that. But I want to change this color. Let's do white. Just position it and then go back to position backward. So now we have a white background. And all you're going to see is this section. You're not going to see this on the Instagram. So it'll just show you this. All right. So I want to get to the. So it'll be the same thing for the remainder of the icons. And then the way I found all these icons, by the way, is I went to elements and then I just looked up hairstylist tools. And then you're just going to have to go through the different ones that you like. Hair or hair tools. And then you can filter for f the ones that you want for free through selecting this little setting option. So here we have free. And then it should only show us the free ones. So I want to select graphics. But you have the option of selecting pictures. And then you'll just go through the ones that you like. Let's say I like this roller and I just want to remove, let's say I want to move the hair clip. So you can click on it and then delete. Or let's say you like this one, right? The flat iron, you can copy by selecting that and it'll duplicate. So I want to get rid of that. Let's say I want the roller, selected it. And then here it'll show you the colors that you can change it to. And then you can come up with your own or if you find some like online that you like, you can also just add that color here or you can experiment and then add um, the different tones. Like say you wanna go darker or lighter and then change that. And that looks pretty cool. Let's do white maybe. And there you go, same thing. Okay, so same thing with the hairstyles, and this is just the main page, but as you can see, or the title page, so it shows you all the ones, all the different icons. Same thing here, we select the image, and then we can start changing the different tones that we like. If you want to just do something specific, let's say we want to give her purple eyebrows or whatever. Same thing, right? And then you start selecting the different tones. Curl a blonde, same thing with the with the skin tones. So that's pretty much what you do to everything. And then if you don't like this graphic, you just select it, delete it, and then you can leave it just by itself. Or you can go back to elements and then X out of that. And then select the different options. through graphics, or you can leave it as is. Let's say we want a circle, maybe you want a heart. That would look cute. Let's see what's up with this. And then you'll just have to test it out on your Instagram to see if you have to uh, adjust the, actually, let me put that back. If you have to adjust the size, Okay, so let's say we like this heart. I'm just going to stretch it. I'm just trying to size it in inside the circle just to give me an idea. Maybe this one will work best because it has more tones and more of a. Seems like it'll just work best. Let me see. Okay, perfect. So I like this, right? So I'm gonna try to, yeah, select the circle, remove it. Now I'm gonna place this in the background again, position it backwards, and then you can change the intensity of how dark the color is. 
So for example, we like this, but we can change this transparency. And there you go, you can start doing that. And then move this around. So there's a lot. And then you can also flip it from left to right, or depending on what it is that you're using, upside down. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So you just have to get used to the temp the software if you're not familiar. And if you have questions, you can always reach out to me at Skullhead Designs. Again, my name is Amada, and I hope you enjoy this, and let me know how it goes. I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Take care.